What is this? You've been a busy bee this morning? Continuing yeah. to organize. Sunglass holder, remote control holder. I don't know if I finished, if I showed them. Your final work from yesterday. Well, I mean, you're done not done, yet. done. But look at this. Because <laughs> I have another one of these shelves that I'm going to yeah. put right there. Where now is our one room? We have a prop. We have a problem, Rebecca. What is our one room? Yes, we, ha we have to have one my room. My guest room. My guest room currently okay. is okay. not done yet. <laughs> okay, so. Makes me feel better. We Makes have... everybody else feel better, too. Everybody's well, got that one room. It's cleaned up. It's, mm -hmm. I, I am not. Then it will be downstairs. You're and then I'm going to clean that. that up, too. Because okay. I can't stand this. It's driving me nuts. The disarray. Buenos dias, niños. You are oh my, I don't know about these Legos in here because then you don't want to go with me. Mr. Brown, you want to go with? No. You going? You got to go I'm going to go do my chores. Oh, good. Uh, yes, so, I am going because John just saw you. You are? Yeah. Okay, well, come on. I'll get you a snack. They're, they're get your home. clothes while I get you a snack. Yes, he's got to go. And you're going to hang out with me, right? Yes. It's a little chilly, so grab a sweater. Hey. Guys, we had to buy new jars because we have that much milk. What's your plan today, Rebecca? You doing anything on the farm? I'm going to be dealing with the greenhouse and making sure that, well, figuring out how we can ventilate it better. It's going to be some research because, uh -huh. well, I need to measure the greenhouse because I want to buy that, what do you call shade it? Shade cloth. Shade cloth. Shade cloth. The aluminum shade cloth that reflects a lot of the sun. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to reflect the heat. At least that's what I saw online. Yeah. And so I've got to do that. And then I'm also going to be measuring in the greenhouse to see where else we could ventilate it. And I might, we might be getting a fan, but I feel like the fans were really expensive, like $1,200. We had to get new jars because we used all our jars. When you get four gallons plus a day. Well, and then That's, also, though, we use the jars for... It's eight jars a day. We use the jars for bulk and everything, and yeah. out there, we have probably 10 or 12 jars yeah. full. And we make it last a week, because we only want to cream separate once a week, so eight times seven. Of course, you drink some along the way, but that's like 40-something jars. Hey, you did get dressed. Thank you. You're missing some socks and a sweater though. <laughs> on these high brush. Are you growing? Are you growing? Right here. Socks. And you're gonna go help me milk? What you're milking? Are yeah. you doing are you doing? We can go do the we can go do the chicken tractor. Yeah. You wanna go do that? Yeah. This is the hey, come back here. Rah. Rah. Put on your sweater. Hey. Okay, come okay, okay. Come on, come on. Lily, you gotta hurry, your chickens are gonna want out. All right, let's go get in. Come on, Teddy. Look at that egg. Goose egg. All right, come on. Let's go. Everybody go. Let's find your shoes, Mr. Brown. Oh, I know where. I think I put some up yesterday. Yes. Do you want to wear your snow boots? Come on, Teddy. Uh Oh, oh, I just remembered. Is it going to rain today? I don't think so. I'm going to water your gardens. We got to give them a drink. Because, as Casey Auschwitz would say, they don't, plants can't walk to water. <laughs> hey, did you guys feed my uh, chicken tractor chickens? Yeah, can you help? Thank you. All right, the hose is hooked up. Get in, let's turn it on. Oh, watch, watch Teddy. Teddy, you better get out of there. Here, here, let's do this. Teddy's in the garden. Let's turn the hose on. on. <laughs> Teach him. Actually, we have cats and dogs getting in these gardens. We just ordered some motion sensor sprinklers. <laughs> Hopefully that'll catch their motion. And get it. It's not? Oh! <laughs> oh no, it's not gonna work for him. He doesn't seem to mind too much. Oh, oh, that just sprayed me. That reached real far. Okay, is it reaching over there though? Yeah, I think so. All right, watch out, get in. See if it comes up far. Oh no! Get, this is backfiring. <laughs> How my chickens do? Day four-ish. Holy smokes! Look at this. 
Big difference. Oh look, two eggs. What? This way, this gotta, way. If you do these chickens up straight, you gotta clean out the water. Other way, other way. Well, it's supposed to keep him out. I know it'll keep cats out. And I guess that's what we're worried about because Teddy's really never unsupervised. <laughs> Guarantee he's trying to go inside. Yep. All right, we're going this way, buddy. Come on. What'd you say? I'm gonna go move the Oh, here, we take the vlog fan? Because we got the tires pumped up yesterday. Let's see if, it, sure. if it's easier to move. Actually, it's, it is on a, I think it is still bottoming out, but just, just see how it goes. Okay, me and Josiah are going to show you if these pumped up tires work really good today. We're gonna do a Joe Sal, okay? He says it's good for your microbiomes. Hey, where'd Gideon go? With the phone. With my phone. The deal was <laughs> audiobook. If you're down here helping me milking, not take the audiobook up into the house. We might have a record breaking morning. Two gallons in here, three quarters a gallon in here from Flossy. <laughs> Bring us here. She's like, also, maybe we should do it to the mark so we can know exactly how much she gave. What do you think? Okay. What? Two gallons. And a quarter? And ah. that's from a cow who's still got a calf on her. That's that rich grass they're on there, guys. The sheep are happy too. They didn't touch their hay till. I think they ate some of it last night, but not for hours. I'll, I'll get in there and you you'll open me. it. Oh, okay. So I can see your face. Come All right. See. All right. What is this you guys want to show? Look, the cream is right there. <laughs> oh my God. There's more cream than there is milk. But this one isn't as high. But this this thing is just full of like cream. Wow. Oh my word, that is crazy. This is like just full of cream. This is like here. The cream line is here. <laughs> That's cream. Who is that? It must be Phyllis. Phyllis. Yeah. We're not gonna drink that. Mom, is that your cream dance? It is. Well, that's like a half a let's gallon. See your... That's more than a half a gallon. So let's see your cream dance. <laughs> 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 All right. We're going to have ice cream again this weekend then. Yes! 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 yes. That ice should be our reward on cream separation. Yeah, though. I like it. What do you think? I love this loft. I'm wondering <laughs> if we should put like a big table here. Do you have a clean loft dance too? <laughs> That's a lot same like one. the cream dance. It's the same one, basically. Okay, I only cool. have one dance. Oh, there's one. Okay, <laughs> I'm good. Not, I'm not very That's good. your clean loft dance. Gideon! You don't know who's I need my phone, bro. Hey, where's my phone? You sneaker? You're supposed to have it out there with me. Where's my phone, bro? Right here. Did you uh, switch the sprinkler? No, I'm. Uh, thank you for the reminder. I'll go do that now. What's going on? <laughs> Are you serious? I am right here. Lucky day we had reception. All right, please, please, don't run off with my phone. Let's show these guys some love too. I'm glad I remembered here. We can leave this here because we're just coming right back up with it. We had to order sprinklers anyway because. We've only got one, so why not try some, why not try some with motion sensors? Oh. Of course I'll let you guys know how it works. That's a good sprinkler right there. Yeah. Josiah, will you get her alfalfa and I'll start cleaning her up? Sure. Well, you gotta milk her for all she's worth because she doesn't have a calf. So you've got to get it all or she'll get mastitis. I'm going to let them milk for a second. Rebecca's doing some measuring. My idea is to measure all of these okay. and then I'll know what to buy, what size to okay. buy. Nine 
74. The problem is this greenhouse gets way too hot. The plans we used didn't account for any ventilation. What we have done is installed these solar vents. They're awesome. Look how it's, it, it's the sun's heating up this black trap, I guess, and, and it's opening this window. I can maybe get a 20 by 20 in there. You're gonna get another vent, uh, solar vent right there? You could probably get another one of those in, in each. So Rebecca's measuring for a possible uh, shade cloth that lets in the sun, yeah. but not the heat. Yes, it's That's a reflective shade cloth. Well, I saw it on the website and then I went and I Googled it and there was a lot yeah. of YouTube videos. This is, the greenhouse is great for the spring for when it's still cold outside for spinaches, Swiss chard, kale, lettuces, stuff like that. But in the summer, when you're wanting to start tomatoes or cucumbers, tomatoes. and it's in the summer, June, July, or, or the fall, when we want to yeah, start our fall garden, the summer, or when we want to start our fall and garden. like July, August, it's hot in here. And so you need the opposite effect of a greenhouse. You need a cool house. Option number one is a shade cloth. It seems to be the most affordable. Option two, which we're doing some, is put two vents in. And option three could maybe be to hinge these, this bottom, every one, or even put solar in there. But that would cost like two thousand dollars. Well, the solar, the solar vents, like those, would cost yeah. thousand dollars. But if we hinged it, I don't think it would cost that much. We just have to frame. Just add frames. We have to frame. Well, no, I'm thinking if we fr hinged the whole thing. No, that would be good. Because if we could open it up easy, if that could somehow be propped so up. It'd, it'd be kind of like a high tunnel. Yeah, it would be a high tunnel. Exactly. Maybe let's talk to Randolph about that. The third thing would be a fan. Well, let's talk. Let's let me try the shade cloth. Yeah. And two more vents. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if that works. That's a good idea. What happened? She poops. Well, it happened. It got on the side of the <laughs> pail though, on the way bottom part. Hey, can you say poop happens? Poop happens. Probably another two gallons and a quarter. Your yeah. zinnias have popped up. The Swiss chard, spinaches. This is for the instant garden, and it's going good. It's cool how the chickens are out there tilling prepping it while these are in here growing. How's your summer crops coming up? Good, I just got a zucchini and have another one starting there. My basil's come up, my thyme has come up, my cukes have come up, my marigolds, these smell so good. Lemon gem marigolds, oh, they just, it That also like keeps lemon. bugs away, doesn't it? Does. It does help with the bugs. Two and a half gallons of milk from Phyllis. All right, there we go. The question, Jonah, is, did that water trough get filled up this time? What? We did it, Jonah. Yeah, but it's really raining. It's it straight. is so full, and that's not going anywhere. That lid keeps crushed from getting in there. I don't know if we'll see here. Let's at least get the water hose off. Get out of here. Here, yeah. Get the water hose out of here. So don't chew on it. Okay, they're good. They're good for a week, 10, 12 days. They're so crazy. I'm gonna feed them way up here. Let's we'll spread them out. Water down there. Feed up here. And encourage them to kill the whole area. Oh my, that's a lot of food. One thing I want to do before breakfast is we're going to get pigs Saturday. E wee little pigs, wee little pigs, six weeks old, Idaho pasture pigs, so they're not necessarily as big as these guys at that age. So what am I looking for? I'm looking for the the crate. I forgot where we put it. It's been a while. If I was a cat crate, well, it's a small dog crate. Where would I be? Okay, that's where I'd be if I was a big one. Where would I be if I was a smaller one? Oh, I think I saw it. That's where I would be. Oh, yes, we live in a house barn. Yes, that's our house right there. That's my bedroom. That's the kid's bedroom. Isn't this great? Shop down here, it's animals. Okay, so this, oh, that's definitely big enough. This small one is big enough. I think that one 
is maybe too big for the Suburban. But this one would be nice because I could put a plastic crate in it. Not have to, I'm gonna have to build a box for this one. Let's grab the measuring tape and see if that would fit in our Suburban. Or let's go look at the Suburban. I'll tell you what's going on here. We're getting these Idaho pasture pigs. They're a mix between a slow growing, smaller pig and a fast growing big pig like I have out there. And we want pigs all year round for our skim milk and food waste. Would it make sense to get a breeding pair? We're gonna try feeders first. Oh wow, yeah, that seat's gonna have to come up. But yeah, that big one is not gonna fit in here. We're gonna have to go with the little one. I think this would be perfect. All right, they need me. I was on a roll, I was on a roll. I'm excited about this, excited as a Nino about this project. Just gonna it. All right, here we go. I think I can convert that box, make it shorter, and make that work to go inside. It's okay. It's okay. Come here. Come here. Teddy mama. just got he his first me. shock on the He fence. wants mama. <laughs> he touched come that here. fence. He might not do that come again. Come here. Come here. It's okay. It's okay. He must have. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, he ain't going to go anywhere in here. This big bad world out here. Huh? You poor thing. <laughs> going come here. Oh, I don't like it when the doggies get the electric fence used, but you'll live a long time now. <laughs> and you'll stay that you'll stay out of that goose and pigs could have saved his life back all right come on come on teddy so rebecca yes i've helped you move some furniture mm -hmm. now i think this is the perfect width and we're going to cut it and make a new box. we're this? thinking about getting these guys as breeders eventually yes but we want to try them out first yes ultimately what i want to know is will they till because I think these have well, been bred. I think they've been bred to eat grass. Yeah. They're Idaho pasture pigs, which is a good thing, but not in our, not necessarily. Well, I'll say in our this: operation, that we want guinea pigs, guinea uh -huh. pigs, yeah, they, guinea hogs have also. Some of them don't till, and some of them do. And with our experience of our two guinea hogs, they were excellent tillers. We had one that was a better tiller than the other. Do you think this will fit in our suburban? I think so. Okay. So my idea is to this cardboard, look, it's just the right width. Okay. Maybe too long? a tight fit. Do you know how I can get it in there? I guess I can just cram it. Yeah, it's too long. So I'm just gonna cut it and make a new side. It's not too long. So put it back up to it. Oh yeah. It's it too long. I know bit. this. I already know this. Okay. So I'm just gonna cut it and make it a new size. Okay. Just cut this off. Just cut this off because then you'll fold it in. Does that make sense? This needs to flap up. Hold the on. It needs to flap up. And I need a side. Just take off this and then you'll bend it here to flap it in. Okay. What would I do without you, Beck? You would have a box that didn't fit. I know you want to put it together in there, and that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. You can test it out out here. But I'm just mm -hmm. testing it out. Okay, that needs to be cut. Tape it in there like that, and we can... We, let's, we can use let's that. This. To... We can use this. Well, should we make sure this fits in our car? Oh, yeah, let's go make sure it fits. That's a good idea. Well, we then made the box, <laughs> and we're like, oh, well, let's go make sure it fits first. Whoops. Okay, Alright, she's gonna hose it down. We'll have to wait then for it to dry out before we put the box in. It'll be interesting to squeeze it in there, but otherwise I think we're good. Okay, it's gonna work. You happy about that? Yes. No trailer. Yep. We have a trailer. We could have taken the trailer, but that's a, that's crazy kind of. For yeah, probably two 15 pound pigs. 20 pounds, maybe 25 pounds. A few updates for you guys real quick. We are getting pigs Saturday. We're gonna put up a real quick video Saturday. Yeah, we'll, we'll, like, we'll make a whole movie about it. It'll come out on Monday as a vlog. But we'll give you guys a little tease Saturday when we get the pigs. And then Sunday, I got a bonus video for you. It's the 12, I'll give you 12 gardening hacks.
human urine it's completely sterile coming out of the body. It's a fertilizer, but it is salty. So dilute it 10 to 20, 10 or as much as 20 to one water to urine. Interesting stuff to help you improve your garden hacks. So that'd be fun. Two bonus videos for you guys this weekend. Plus another bonus video in our Grow Your Own Groceries today. It's out from here on how to grow a year's worth of chicken in 58 days. If you can, get them out at three weeks old. Decide when I move the wheelbarrow, can you kind of hold them on? Hey, I'm gonna turn. Ready? Okay. You know you need to hold it on there. You make sure it doesn't fall off the wheelbarrow. There you go. Let's go, let's go, go, go. Come on, guys. Look, already pecking at the grass. Check that out, info in the description. Hey, uh, did you get your greenhouse stuff? I did. So how much was that shade covering? It was only, let's see here it is. Oh yeah. It was $62. Just, oh, sweet. But then I got it, I got grommets. Yeah, what's the total of all with grommets and everything? It was $82, $90. Okay, so that's gonna beat, and what were your solars? Your oh, solar I haven't gotten those yet. Okay, so that's gonna be like possibly having to open up that bottom. So that's like I don't know. It's gonna be a couple hundred bucks for my shades. Yeah. And my vents. And then Now we just need a solar powered mister. Jonas says he wants me to buy all the parts and he'll put it together. Oh, is there such a thing? Well, I don't know about solar powered, but you would you would we would hang the mister up there and over there and over mm. there and then we would have it hooked to a hose. Yeah. And could do a timer at least. We'd have a timer on it. Yeah. yeah. See how these open? These yeah. opened automatic. We were inside working or out on the farm or you know. Is your tomatoes seeds germinating, Rebecca, in these jars? I had some peppers. Okay. It takes a while. They're not super fast germinating. It's the next day. Just had to show you guys this though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and a quart. Fifteen gallons of milk cream separating day. Incidentally, my apron dried out. It had gotten some fuel on it. But just letting it air out, I guess help. It doesn't stink anymore. I also forgot yesterday. I'll go ahead and put up, put together my big porch. Let's hope this, let's hope I can get it in here. All right, we got it filled up. We got shavings in there. We got the box in there. We're ready. You ready to get some pigs tomorrow, Josiah? Yeah. It's like a bomb went off. But look what came from it. How many, how, how much is that? It's a pint and a half over a gallon. Nice. That means cultured cream, butter, and ice cream. Ice cream. 